Biscayne Boulevard between 79th and 54th Streets changes character as each day ends. The main scenic entry into Miami becomes a boulevard of strolling girls. Police consider this stretch one of the most active areas of prostitution in the city. Several motels along the strip have been converted into what is known as adult motels, advertising waterbeds and closed-circuit color TV with adult films. The big attraction for the girls is the heavy traffic, but much of that traffic belongs to area residents, and one of those up in arms is Derek Dinkler. Uh, there's a Biscayne Association involved, which is formed up of all the businesses along the boulevard. Uh, we're going down to try and block the renewal of the motel license for a certain motel. The motel is a New Yorker motel. Uh, if we can block the license for this renewal, uh, we are trying to get investors that will, after it becomes a distressed property, to go in, buy the property, raise it to the ground, and then go to the next motel. The whole area, as far as property value, will go down drastically. It's already gone down quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if you know, the left guard that is on the boulevard, which was owned by, which is owned by B. Morley, she owns the property. Uh, the left guard, which was a chain restaurant and has done very well in the past throughout the country, uh, opened up last year and they went out of business within six months. And just purely and simply because of the situation on the boulevard. The owner of the New Yorker motel, Melvin Schaefer, would not go on television, but said that he doesn't blame local residents for being angry and that the prostitution has hurt the motel business on the boulevard. Schaefer told me that if he had wanted to deal in prostitution, he'd be a wealthy man. He said he can't pay $10,000 a year in real estate taxes without renting rooms, but stressed that he does not knowingly rent to prostitutes. All the arguments from both sides will be heard tomorrow at the hearing for the renewal of the New Yorker's motel license. Schaefer predicts he will get his license renewed. Joan Hall, Channel 4 News.